Welcome guys. So let's move to the last part of anonymous inner class and that is la using lambda expression. Now let's see what exactly lambda means. So before starting with lambda, let's change this uh, code a bit. Now if you know in Java we have something called as interface. Now let's say if I make this B as interface, that means, uh oh, it should be small i. If I make this class as in, uh, this B as interface, that means I cannot define methods here. I just have to declare it. Okay. So what I've do, I have done is, in, in fact, all the methods in uh, interface are public abstract. So I have an interface called as B. And here, what let's say I want to create instance of B. Okay. So how to get instance of B is we have to say B obj equal to new B. But unfortunately, interf uh, interface cannot have an uh, instance. So we cannot get create an instance of an, of an interface directly. For that, we have to create a class. Let's say class name is XYZ. And this class should implement B so that when you create object of this XYZ, again, you have to define a method here, which is public void show. Again, there should be some logic in this code uh, here. But let's say uh, I have a class XYZ which implements this show. That means I can create a instance of X, Y, Z so that I will get an instance of B. Clear? That's one way. The another way of creating this class is using inner class. So what I mean by inner class is, the problem is when you create an instance of B here, we will simply say I'm an interface and I don't have, any, I don't have the implementation. So here this... Uh, this part will say, okay, you don't have an implementation, but hold on, I can implement B interface here. Okay, so and B interface has only one method called as show, so we can directly implement it as public void show. Okay, and we can simply say it will print hello. So now if I call obj dot show, it will go for go for this implementation and it will give the output as hello. Okay. That's one way of defining a interface. Now, if we focus on this code, we have an interface which is just uh, it just has one method, and this type of interface in Java is called as SAM, which means single abstract method interface. Okay, and this was this. This uh, thing used to be called in one point till one point seven, but in Java eight there is a concept of functional interface, which means an uh, interface which has only one method can be called as functional interface. And to specify this as a functional interface, we can use an annotation called as functional interface. Okay, which means you can have only one method. What if I define one more method, which is ABC here, and you can see it will give me an error. It says Functional interface should have only one method. So that means ABC will not support here. Either you need void show or ABC. Now since you are working with functional interface, let's see if I jump to this functional interface, it will specify that this functional interface concept was launched in Java 1.8. Now the advantage of using functional interface is using functional interface, you can just remove some boilerplate code. Now what it means now see, when you create an instance of this B here, so it's for sure that after this line, there should be an instance of B, and that means there should be a, there should be composite, there should be new B, and then there is obvious thing that this interface only has only one method, which is show. So that means this line should be show. So why, as a programmer, we are writing this code? What if, if we ask our Java, or JVM to implement that thing for us. What I mean is, we to say this instance, this uh, interface B, which has a reference called as OBJ, has a method called as some method. You search it. I don't know which method, but you search it. There is a method with a default signature, which is blank signature. So you can see we have a blank signature. And in this method, I want to implement something. So I have to implement. That means I have to send something. So we have to use this arrow. And we have to give curly bus open and close. And a semicolon which specify this. Let me write it here only. 
Okay. So I can simply say a bracket and then this semicolon. That means the implementation inside show will be here. So let me just give you the enter and we'll say the implementation what I need is just hello, simple. Right? So this is also an anonymous class. Okay. Uh, it's it's kind of anonymous class where you are defining a lambda expression. And if you run this code, it still works. You can see it's hello, right? And that's the advantage of Java 8 of Lambda expression. You can reduce the, you can remove the boilerplate code. Then you will say, okay, that means we are just removing the boilerplate code. That's it. The, there's no performance improvement. Let's focus on this class now. If you if you refresh this page or refresh this file, you can see we have only two class. One is B and inner demo. This B is the interface class bytecode, and this is inner demo bytecode. Where is the inner demo? dollar one no it's not there it's because jvm is so smart that it says for lambda expression i know this is a kind of anonymous class but i will not create a anonymous class of it and it's that efficient right and now what you can do is if you know in your in your block you have just one statement that's uh, then you don't require this curly basis you can directly specify the statement here and you can write the whole statement in one line. So we can say it is system dot print ln. And here we can give the semicolon. So this is how you can use lambda expression. So a point to remember when you talk about this lambda expression, it only works with functional interface. Okay. So there are lots of advantages of funct functional interface. There is something called a stream API, which works with functional interface. What's fun stream API? What functional interface? That might be in my next video tutorials. So that's it from uh, inner classes, which are member class, nested class, anonymous, and lambda. Okay, and that's it from the inner class session. For next set of tutorials, do subscribe and thanks for watching.